All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. Today we're at the lathe, and what we are going to do is make some soft jaws for my chuck. And if you don't know what those are, is it can be anything that is softer than the jaws of the, the chuck, and it'll go between the material that you're trying to turn and the jaws, for this ex for example, this is a piece of aluminum. So you'd put the piece of aluminum in there on all three jaws and tighten it down. And the hard jaws of the chuck would not mar your piece. So in this case, this is the soft jaws. People use aluminum. People use copper. And if you watch some of the videos, people get real fancy and they form them around here and they look really nice. That takes a lot of time. I don't want to spend a lot of time making them. So what I'm going to do is 3D print them. This should be an easy project. So what we need to do is we need to take some measurements and I'm just going to have it wrap around here and then go in maybe an inch or so. All right, we're in fusion. Let's get these things drawn up. Time to slice this thing and send it off to the 3D printer. It'll take 13 minutes to print one and it'll cost four cents. A lot cheaper than copper. All right, well, you guys saw I drew it, printed it. Here's the part. It's real basic. Let's see if it fits. There you go. I like it. Fits on there nice. I like it. So this will be perfect. Again, see with those, they um, they stay on there. I don't have to mess with it. With those little pieces of aluminum, I had to really mess with it. They'll stay on there. And then... Uh, there you go. It's going to work good. All right, let's print the other two. All right, I got the other two printed. Sorry, guys. Video in the 3D printer is tough with these small parts. You know, let me show you what these soft jaws are really used for. So this is my um, bottle opener that I made. And you see we have the uh, knurling on it. Well, when I uh, turned this down... I had to chuck this end into the jaw and I didn't want to mar it. So that's what you use the soft jaws for. And you just put it in like this. However you want to do it, just like that. And then you crank it down and there you go. And it shouldn't mar it. Let's see. Let's see how I did. And it looks pretty good. Now, when I had the pieces of aluminum, the way I had to do it was I had to put rest a piece here of the aluminum. And then I had to put the piece in like this and kind of balance that aluminum. Hopefully you guys can see that. Then I'd take the other piece of aluminum like this. Hopefully it would stay in there. And then take the next piece, the third piece, and jam it in like that. And you can see it's not holding and it would fall out. So that's the idea of making those 3D printed ones. The other thing is I made these. Uh, they're a little under... 
uh, a millimeter. You could see there's an indent here from the chuck just by using it. So I may have to make these a little thicker, uh, but we're going to try them the way they are. So this was a, a quick and dirty little project. Didn't take me long to do, and it cost pennies to print. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment. And uh, hey, if you need a set, hit me up. I'll make them for you at a price, of course. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.